when I was first diagnosed with cancer, one of my biggest sources of overwhelm was not knowing what can I eat, what's approved, what's not, what's good for me, what's bad for me. And so I just started eating a bunch of salads. And then I found that the salads that I was eating, the type of dressing, the type of meat that I was eating, also wasn't approved. So it just felt so overwhelming. When my friend Chris Wark, who wrote this book, The Beat Cancer Kitchen Cookbook, when he told me, hey Marley, you can heal your cancer naturally if you're willing to change your life, my first instinct was, I can't, I can't change my life. That's too hard, it's too overwhelming. I just didn't know where to start. So I wanted to make this video to share with you what I learned so that if you are in that spot too, it doesn't have to seem so overwhelming. You can take it one step at a time. I'm gonna share some of my best recipe books with you and also some incredible apps that I use to know what's approved, what's good, what's not. And I'll even share some of the stuff that's in my fridge and pantry that are easy go-tos. One of the first things that my doctor had me do was a fresh start diet. It's an anti-inflammatory diet just to kind of get myself, my body to a baseline, to a foundation and get myself kind of clear. So for 10 to 14 days is what they recommend, was very anti-inflammatory. It was basically a bunch of cruciferous vegetables. And I would jokingly say that I had a cruciferous vegetable prerequisite for what I needed to eat every day. It's also really great for anti-cancer. So I went to Costco and I got like, you know, spinach, kale, um, celery, broccoli, cucumber, um, celery, I said that already, <laughs> and just mix that all into a salad. And then for a dressing, I'm gonna talk more about dressings and ingredients that can be hidden in our foods. It was really easy for me to make my own dressing just with avocado oil, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and salt, which at first I thought this is gonna be so boring. I'm a foodie, I like to eat good food, but this was actually something that I looked forward to was having this salad. So having that salad and then some chicken that was organic, non-GMO, uh, grass-fed, like that's really important. Some experts will suggest to go completely vegan. For me, my preference was to still eat some you know, animal protein, but the quality of it is really important. So I actually started working with a company that's here locally in Idaho, but they ship to all over called Crosso Meats. Um, Crosso Meats, this is their family. Aren't they just so sweet? So Derek and Jess, they would send me meat from their ranch. And that's what like, if you know the farmers where the food is coming from, getting food from the grocery store, great. But if you can eat local and be able to support farmers where you know that it's healthy, amazing. The anti-inflammatory diet is amazing to follow and you can easily Google that. Also the beet cancer kitchen from Chris Wark, uh, his anti-cancer smoothie was my favorite. I would eat that every single day. It was like my favorite thing to eat and it was pretty filling. So I could just eat that every single day. This is Bobby, Bobby Parrish and his wife, Desi. These were also two of my other favorite cookbooks. Everything in it is super healthy. And Bobby, Bobby's a friend of mine. He doesn't know that yet, but we talk about Bobby in our house every single day because Bobby has this app called Bobby Approved. So the way that Bobby Approved works is it's so simple. You can just click on this barcode app and you can scan the barcode of any food. Now there are some foods that maybe he hasn't gotten to yet, but it's on the list and being able to scan that will also put it on his list. When you scan the food, it'll tell you if Bobby approves it or not. And I trust Bobby. Bobby is like a family friend to me. <laughs> Funny, like the kids actually know like, is it Bobby approved? Let's find out. So it's so amazing that you can scan the barcode of just about any food and it'll say if he approves it. And if he doesn't, it will say what's wrong with it. What is the ingredient in it that we want to avoid? And this is really great also as we're starting to learn what's in our food. This was a way that I learned what is approved or not. So for example, I always avoid canola oil and I actually started making uh, a way for me to remember it, like canola, uh. no, canola, do not do that. Um, don't use canola oil, instead use olive oil or avocado oil. Sucralose is something that you should also really avoid and is in a lot of stuff. So I would like, for me to remember that, I'd be like sucralose or <laughs> Like I would just start to make up funny words for me to remember to avoid this ingredient. I was thinking I would go around my kitchen and show you some of the foods that are Bobby approved and are not and what happens if they're not approved. So disclaimer, I'm not perfect, but we have changed so much in our house and all the ingredients that we use. There's some things that we, now that we know, we'll never use again. Like, you know, regular uh, dressing, probably not gonna use that. Things by uh, Primal Kitchen. This is actually one of my favorite meals is I'll just do a uh, kale salad with this dressing and instead of croutons, I use cashews. So let's scan this one, for example. Just kidding, it doesn't have a barcode. Don't embarrass me. 
Okay, anyway, pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> hot dogs. My kids love hot dogs. Did you know hot dogs are a class one carcinogen? Don't eat hot dogs ever again. However, sausages, um, these are from Costco. Teton uh, Waters Ranch, 100% grass-fed beef, no hormones, no antibiotics. If I pull up Bobby, there's the barcode, there it is. Ta-da, it's approved. You can see what ingredients are in there. It's all things that are approved. And underneath it, you can also see more Bobby approved items that are related to this. This also comes in really handy when there's something that's not approved so that you can see a suggestion for something in this category that is approved. Um, milk, most people have a, a beef against milk. A beef against milk? I like milk. Uh, the kids definitely like milk. So if you're gonna have milk, having organic milk, did you know there's organic milk? So this is from Organic Valley. Uh, and this one, Bobby approved. Let me find something that's not Bobby approved so that you can see what happens. This is organic hummus from Costco. You would think organic might be approved. Let's see why Bobby does not approve it. Okay, so not approved and we'll scroll up to see why, what the ingredients are. There's canola oil, canola in this hummus. So even though it's organic, we want to avoid canola oil. If this hummus was made with a different oil, it might be approved. We've changed a lot of our condiments in here too. So like instead of Heinz ketchup, we still have it in the fridge. Maybe we should throw it out. Instead, we now use, here it is, Primal Kitchen. Everything from Primal Kitchen, I'm a big fan of. And so is Bobby. For mustard, we use Annie's. Again, for dressings, we'll use anything from Primal Kitchen. Same thing with uh, mayonnaise. This one, this mayonnaise is used with avocado oil, even butter. I'll show you two different examples of butter. Here's just some dairy gold butter. Let's see, what does Bobby say? Bobby says, not approved. Let's find out why. Uh, cream, milk, and natural flavors in there. The natural flavors and food colorings, that's where they'll get you. They can hide a lot of stuff in there. But this one, this is grass-fed butter from Costco and this is Bobby approved. Shall we keep playing? Let's see what else we can find. This is actually one of Bobby's uh, protein smoothie powders. And I mean, it came from Bobby, so it is Bobby approved. So some of my favorite things for like snacks, for good cereals, for stuff for the kids, for treats. Um, this is from Costco. This is Bobby approved uh, and really tasty if you want something sweet. Um, Simple Mills, this is a really great brand. And because this is almond flour cookies, it is approved. Um, Grain Free Granola, this is one of my favorites from Costco. This is really delicious with some Greek yogurt. I wonder if Bobby approves this. No, he doesn't. Your water source is also incredibly important. I have done a couple videos. I'm gonna be doing a full video on the importance of your water because what's coming out just through your regular Tap water is disgusting, infuriating. Make sure that you have a water filter and I'll put the link for mine below. So it might seem overwhelming at first, but honestly, there's so many resources, especially with that Bobby Approved app, with these cookbooks, which I will link below. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment. I love answering these questions and I'll make future videos based on your questions. The Bobby Approved app is really amazing for stuff in your kitchen, but also for the stuff around your house, like your cleaning products, your hair products, your makeup, your beauty products, Bobby, Call me, we're friends. These are some of my favorite resources I use. I'll also link a couple other resources below, some Instagram accounts that I follow. Once you start to dive into this rabbit hole, you'll start to meet more people and see other Instagram accounts or really Chris Work, Bobby Parrish, they're the ones to trust. So thanks for watching.